and today we are going out on the trails to run strong! So I'm on the bike and I am filming Kelly's session and helping her and encouraging her. Uh, I've got to find her first. She's uh, run off into the distance. And then I've got my own session. Uh, again, it's another strong run. This time it'll be nine miles. It'll be a mile sort of getting into it, warm up, and then eight miles strong. If you don't know what I mean by the term strong, check out my last vlog, which talks about how I'm using strong runs in my uh, base building. Oh, there's a lump. Oh, oh, oh. Um, it's really hilly terrain on the trails today. So it's all by feel basically, but guided by power. So I want to run strong, but it's difficult when I'm running up very steep hills. I need to back off and then push a little harder on the downhills. So we'll give it a shot. I've never done uh, I've done runs similar to this on, on this route, but I've never done this sort of intensity um, on this nine mile loop. It's one of my favorite routes. Uh, I just need to, uh, ah! just need to do my best trying to gauge the intensity. Looking forward to it, horrible day. It's one of those gray, dull, muddy, rainy training days, but we turn up, we take it off, we put it in the bank and we wait for those lovely sunny, hopefully still, but not too warm race days that we haven't had in a, nearly a year now. Um, spring is coming, hopefully there's a race on the horizon. Let's get some training done. Let's build this base and let's go find Kelly. I thought I'd give you a big enough range for the warm-up. Gone too fast. <laughs> too much power! Looking really good. Focus on that cadence. Pop, 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 pop. Into 60 in your head. Take off a minute at a time. So Kelly's session's done. She smashed it. Um, not sure if she enjoyed it, but she did really well. Uh, it's time for me to get off the bike, get into my vapor flies, and uh, do nine miles around the loop. Um, a lot of people asked me in my vlog from last week, why am I wearing vapor flies, which are a race shoe for sessions? And there's a couple of reasons. The main reason is, oh God. There's a couple of reasons. The main reason is that I recover better in them. So after I've done sessions in vapor flies, my legs seem pretty decent. Whereas when I used to do sessions, my calves used to be really beaten up. Um, and recovering better means I can keep that consistency better and still log the miles, get the easy miles done and the recovery runs done. Whereas when my calves used to be really sore, I used to just take a rest day. Uh, the second reason is uh, once I've worn vapor flies for, it's not a certain mileage, but I, there's a certain feel where I'm no longer racing them. When they lose that bounciness, I'm like, right, they're not race shoes anymore. So I just basically retire them into training shoes and they do a great job on tempos and sessions. 
Um, and there are a lot of money to throw away once you've retired them from racing. So I've got a couple of pairs which I rotate now as session shoes and they are my favorite session shoe. There's not a shoe I've got which I prefer doing a session in. Yes, you run a bit quicker in them, um, which is always nice for the ego, but that's not the main reason. Um, the main reason is the recovery in the legs and because I want to get my money's worth. And I have found, I've put what, 300, maybe more uh, miles in some of my, which is like 500 kilometers in some of my vapor flies. And I'm still wearing them. They've still got <laughs> a great underfoot feel. So I'm even out on the trails today. Uh, it's not, it's not technical or anything. It's uh, like a fire track trail, but I'll be wearing uh, my, what I call my trail Vaporfly shoes, which are uh, all beaten up. Uh, the grip's coming off, but the, the foam and the plates still feel magic under my feet. So get those on, strip down to my vest and my sleeves and uh, get on with this run. What I should also say is, I don't think I actually ever raced in this uh, colorway. It's just that I started doing time trials in them and basically ran so many miles in them that they were no longer good for racing. Um, but I guess that's what happens when you have a pandemic and lockdown, etc. You don't get to race it on your vapor flies because um, they're just too tempting to get out of the box. But I've got two pairs of new ones. One that's done a race and a time trial and one that is just fresh. So they're my racing shoes now, and the rest of them are just training shoes. Kelly's still doing her cool down. hill like I'll be honest it's too much for me he knows I hate this loop in reverse the hill's so steep my legs are trash I'll be honest I'm just f so I don't even know if I'll catch him up this is utter hell Seven miles in, no, six. I still haven't caught him. I've done all the elevation now. Uh, so just on the downhill. Uh, my legs are trash. I keep hoping I'll see a, a sign of him around the corner. No chance. I hate you right now. <laughs> Look at your face. I actually hate you. Did you catch me on film? No. Uh, session done. I didn't see Kelly, so <laughs> just spent some quality time together. I ran ahead and uh, she never caught me up. I think that puts to bed what would happen in the bike versus no, man race. No, no, no. <laughs> it doesn't because I had to do a session beforehand. So I'm completely knackered, and uh, you'll see from the footage I took whilst you've buggered off. 
But yeah, I'm completely depleted before even starting. He just had a little cushy. Oh. Now Kelly knows what it'll be like <laughs> in a triathlon. What, an off-road triathlon? Well, to be fair, you'd be on the bike and then the run. Um, but anyway, my run went really well, <laughs> although I was a bit lonely. Uh, I was a bit worried about Kelly, but that didn't stop me from running. <laughs> I thought you might have stopped at some point. I did actually think, oh, should I stop? You know, is she okay? And then I thought, yeah, she, <laughs> she's fine. You're doing really well, yeah, Matt. Keep clipping. So yeah, banked uh, the nine mile loop. <laughs> Stopped just short of the full loop because of the road and to wait for Kelly. And um, I think the average pace was like 5.44 per mile. It's the quickest I've ever done it around this loop. Heart rate was lower than I thought it was. Um, You're taking a mick now, aren't you? I haven't seen the watts yet, but hopefully they're in and about the right place. But yeah, I enjoyed that. Much more difficult to gauge than clipping along with the rhythm on the flat like last week. But um, harder to gauge, but just felt good trying to feel the rhythm, feel the effort up and down the hills. First half was really tough. Second half was all about just trying to sustain that power, clipping a lot faster. Um, but obviously it's downhill. So yeah, um, it was good. And I think Kelly... I think she does hate me. I might have to treat her to a burrito. Carl, do you want a burrito? <laughs> it's just, I'll always have a burrito. <laughs> Will that make it better? A burrito and a coffee? Oh, a burrito and a coffee. Come on then. Let's end this. Let's end Hell. this. Let's end this torture. <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> yeah, but you've had a hell of a session now. Think of the you've put miles in the legs on the run and the bike. I've had a run session and a bike session. My heart rate was not low during that. It's all right for some. Lydney Lake, finish it off with a swim. Oh. <laughs> and we are back in the warmth, out of the cold, but I've still got my jacket on. I didn't see much of Kelly today, but today was a really, really good run. It was so strong. If you remember my last vlog, around the lake, 5.30 a mile, and it averaged about 375 watts, which is the power. Today, slower because of the hills and the trails, so it's 544 a mile, but 371 watts. But the interesting thing is the heart rate. Around the lake, my heart rate averaged 171. Today, it was 166. So today, I was actually more efficient. That is incredible. Ah, oh, such a strong run. Um, I am improving each week, and that is a huge confidence boost. I'll put up all the stats on the side. You can have a look at my Strava. If you're not following me on Strava, it's Matt Reese. just search for me and I'll put the link in my YouTube description as well. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, the splits vary as we go through the different miles. There's a very steep uphill, which you might have seen Kelly getting pretty frustrated with, uh, where I averaged 6.33 per mile, but Strava has that a gap pace of 5.35 a mile. Um, if you look at the profile of the run, there's that really steep bit, then a, a tiny little descent, then more climbing, and then the last three miles are downhill. The last three miles is where I thought Kelly might catch me up, but on this occasion she didn't. But what we are going to do is we are going to have a race around that nine mile loop when we're both fresh to see basically who gets the bragging rights, man versus bike. I'm not calling Kelly a bike, you know what I mean. Overall, really happy with today's run. Um, it was a different stimulus for the muscles to be running hard uphill and hard downhill. Really got my cadence going and my leg turnover coming down that, down the other side a bit quicker. Uh, and I really enjoyed doing it without looking at pace. Didn't know what pace I was doing until I finished. Mainly by feel and I got the watts spot on pretty much. Um, just checking now and again to see it was the right intensity but basically uh, I knew it was the right intensity based on how it felt. So yeah, a really promising, promising run. Um, and I'm gonna carry on with these strong runs every week and uh, hopefully I can bring that pace down or take the power up for the heart rate. I've actually started introducing a metric which is watts per heart rate. So it's almost like gap pace versus heart rate. Um, so I can see how efficient I am. 
I like to track that sort of thing because you can see then if you follow trends uh, whether I'm getting fitter each week no matter what course I do it on. So I was on the trails on a hilly course and yet it was more efficient than round the lake uh, despite it being slightly slower. So very, very happy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this data geek bit at the end wasn't too much for you. I'd love it if you come back and check out my next video. Like, subscribe, share, get in the comments and uh, happy running. Thank you.